welcome back to boss vision if you're new here welcome please make sure you subscribe down below so you won't miss out on anything else that i post so as you can tell by the title we're doing something so exciting today i would like to share with you guys my entrepreneurial journey i decided to start a candle business because i was uh, furloughed due to coronavirus from my job i actually was a corporate sales manager for marriott and they let me go but the great thing about that is that i've been able to brainstorm on better things for me to do and i decided to boss up you guys boss up okay that's why i just created my youtube channel boss vision and i've been creating beauty fitness and haul videos and i wanted to give you guys an inside look on what it takes to start a business so i'm taking you guys along with me on this journey i will be doing step-by-step -step tutorials on how to start your business, make a candle, everything of that nature. So I wanted to take you all through every step along the way, showing you all of my supplies, as well as the process. You can get an idea of what it takes to actually make a candle. It's actually not as hard as you would think, and it's pretty fun. So I will just show you all exactly what I do. If you like these type of videos, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and stay tuned because I'm gonna be doing an entire series on everything that I do regarding packaging, registering my business, and supporting it on Etsy, advertising on Instagram. Definitely look forward to those videos because they're coming soon and you don't wanna miss out on everything because you can start your own business too. Everyone has the opportunity to change their reality. In life, if I can give my own elevated perspective to someone, I've done something in life. Really looking forward to this journey with you guys and I can't wait for you guys to see everything. So just stay tuned. So we're now in the kitchen and I'm actually in my dining room, but it's connected to my kitchen. They're right beside each other. Also, first thing you need is a jar. This jar is about nine ounces, but the pour level is 8.5 ounces. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be making an 8.5 ounce candle today. I got them from Candle Science and Candle Science recommended to use the Eco 8 6 six inch pre-tabbed wick, so we're gonna be using those today. So we're doing an IGI 606 candle uh, wax. It's uh, the paraffin soy blend, and I got a 10 pound slab here, but I've already been sampling, doing some testers, so it's a little bit less. It is a paraffin soy blend, which works really well because it has a better cold throw and a better hot throw than the normal soy candles. When you get a soy candle, it doesn't give you that strong scent throw that you want. So what I wanted to offer was stronger scents that take up your entire home. So that's why I'm doing the blend. You all should definitely look into that too. I got these all from Candle Science and Virginia Candle Supply. I got an eight ounce sugar cookie, an eight ounce apple butter, an eight ounce vanilla buttercream, and an eight ounce very vanilla. You're also going to need yourself some clothespins just to balance out the wick, and you'll need skewers. This is the most important thing you'll need, okay? It's so important to get your melting point, your flash point, and your point correct, so you definitely need a thermometer. It's super important. And then you'll need some masking tape so that you can take this tape and put it onto your jar and write down your recipe so you won't forget once you realize how amazing it is or if it really isn't all that great. <laughs> You will need a scale. This is also fundamental to the success of your candle making. You need to keep track of how many ounces of wax you're putting in, and you need to keep track of how many ounces of fragrance oil you're putting in, which leads me to my next haul necessity. You're gonna need a tablespoon because it's super important to keep track of how much fragrance oil you put in because you don't wanna overfill, you don't wanna underfill. So with the soy paraffin wax, IGI 6006, it can only handle 10% fragrance per pound. So we're gonna be doing a 8.5 ounce candle, so we're only gonna be doing 0.85 ounces of fragrance, which would just be about a teaspoon and a half. Next, you're gonna need a hot glue gun and the glue sticks because we're going to glue our wicks to the jars. A lot of people use the pre-tabs, but I found that using the hot glue ensures that your wick is not moving, it is not going anywhere. Last but not least, we have a pouring pitcher. This is super important. I cannot stress enough. 
the importance of getting a huge pouring pitcher. It definitely saves a lot of time when you're making your candles. When I was first starting out, I made my candles in a small 32 ounce, but you definitely need a 64 ounce because it will be much easier. So let's just get right into it. We have all our supplies here. We're ready to rock and roll. I'm just gonna take you guys through it. I will most likely do a voiceover over this part, but yeah, let's just get into it. Stay tuned, subscribe. All right guys, so as you can see here, I am just showing you all my scale. It says hello when you open it, which is super cute. And I'm making sure that it is set to ounces. That is super important because we are measuring the amount of wax in ounces. So I put the pitcher right on the scale and get to chopping. You chop up the wax. This is a soy paraffin wax, so it doesn't come with those little flakes. It actually comes in huge blocks, which is perfect. And the blocks are really soft, so it's easier to chop up. I didn't have any issues at all. The one thing I wanted to do was put on some gloves because the soy paraffin wax is actually really sticky. And then, you know, for sanitary purposes, you want to make sure you have gloves on when you are cutting up some wax. So right here I'm just cutting up the wax into small blocks and putting it in and measuring as I go to make sure that we get the right amount. guys once we've get gotten the right amount of wax for our candle we're going to move on to adding the pitcher into the water and i made sure i melted the wax at 180 degrees here i'm just going to show you how the thermometer goes all the way up to 180 patience is a virtue with candle making you want to make sure it's at the right temperature the temperature is everything now you add you wait until it gets down to 160 to add the fragrance so I'm adding in vanilla buttercream and sugar cookie these two smell like heaven together and they're perfect for the holidays. I'm so excited to share this candle with you all. I smelt it after this video and I died. So yes, you will enjoy it too. Just one tablespoon of vanilla buttercream and one tablespoon of sugar cookie is perfect. I'm just going to mix that in. I prefer to do 20 stirs clockwise, 20 stirs counterclockwise, just to make sure that that is all set. So now we are just making sure we stir it properly so all that great fragrance oil can just get evenly distributed throughout the wax. It smells heavenly right now. And you wait until it gets to 150 to pour. That temperature is important. So now I'm just making sure that my candle wick is leveled. I actually balanced it a little bit better off camera, but this is the best part. Yeah, a little more. That is the perfect fill line for this 8.5 ounce candle of vanilla buttercream and sugar cookie. If you all like videos like this, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching.